Hi, this is Bobo Zhang, and I'm here to teach you how to pay your survey respondents on MTurk and how to contact them in case any problems were to arise. Say that I want to pay subjects who have completed my survey. So now I'm in this batch. I click on results. You just want to pay people who have completed your survey, for instance. To do so, you would click the download CSV, which allows you to download a spreadsheet with the worker IDs of everyone who has submitted a hit. In some instances, those who have submitted hits have not necessarily completed your survey, and so you just want to double check that you're paying the right people. Click this link to download the spreadsheet. It might take some time. So I have already downloaded the spreadsheet. And here you see this column with the worker ID of everyone who has submitted a hit. In the last two columns of the spreadsheet, you have an approve column and a reject column. If you want to approve a worker, you put an X in the cell. If you want to reject, you must leave a message explaining why you decided to reject that worker's hit. You can use R or Stata to link survey results with this spreadsheet to approve or reject subjects based on whether they have completed all the survey questions. And once you're done, save the spreadsheet, go back to Mechanical Turk and click Review Results where you can upload the spreadsheet. Make sure it's in a CSV file and this will let you approve or reject subjects. Sometimes problems might arise and you might need to contact individual workers. In that case, you click Manage Hits Individually. You select a survey. Click Download Results. Scroll down to view the individual workers who have completed your survey or not. Click Approved or Rejected. Now to contact an individual worker, you can send an email message. Or you might give them a bonus payment if they fulfill the criteria and they deserve a bonus. And you can type the message in here and send. If you want to mass email all of the workers who have submitted hits, the preferred way is to do it using an R package that interacts with the Amazon Mechanical Turk API. But if you just want to contact individual workers, this is probably the preferred method. Thank you for watching this video.